while we're here, we might as well set up a government. The 12-minute New Yorker video provides one of the best looks at this unprecedented event. It's not our chair. Look, I love you guys, your brothers, but we can't be disrespectful. Don't disrespect. They can steal an election when we can't sit in their chair. No, we're not putting up with that either. But others went ahead, going through papers and other materials. More than 100 arrests have been made so far. Federal officials are combing through thousands of hours of video, and they remain concerned ahead of Joe Biden's inauguration. So much so that the National Park Service has closed the National Mall to the public until Thursday as a precaution. Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy says he hasn't seen any evidence of a threat, but adds that commanders are on the lookout for suspicious activity. We've also been vetting them through the FBI, getting support from the Federal Bureau of Investigation to to continue the vetting of every men and women that come here. We have a process to our JRSOI process where we vet them. So uh, we're continually uh, going through the process and look, taking second, third looks at every one of the individuals assigned to this operation. The vetting process began with the first National Guard troops deploying to D.C. more than a week ago, which will likely be complete by Wednesday. Incoming White House Communications Director Kate Benningfield says there will be an outdoor ceremony even with security concerns. I think that will send an incredibly important visual uh, image to the world about the resilience of American democracy. Um, and so our plan and our expectation is that uh, President-elect Biden will put his hand on the Bible with his family outside on the west side of the Capitol on the 20th. But Washington's Democrat Mayor Muriel Bowser is urging people to stay home. I want to reiterate my request to, to Americans uh, to enjoy this 59th inauguration of the President of the United States and the Vice President of the United States um, from home. Enjoy it virtually on January 20th. Now, despite the lockdown we had earlier, this still does feel like the most safest, the safest city in the country, uh, if not the world. You have the 25,000 National Guardsmen here, 13. Metro stops have been shut down on the National Mall, as I mentioned, is also closed. So really a ton of precautions being taken here in Washington. But, John, the thing D.C. residents want to know is that come Thursday, will the Guard troops start moving out so we can return to life as normal here in our nation's capital? Back to you. That's true, Logan. We will see what happens. Obviously, this uh, tense situation is not going to go away overnight, even after the inauguration.